Oh, look, you have huge hands in comparison to mine. Mine look minuscule next to yours. <laughs> you know what that means, right? No, <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> Um, um, could you maybe not? Like, ah, <laughs> uh, okay. I know now, big hands means unsolicited presentation of your dick. What the fuck? <laughs> okay, no. <laughs> oh yeah, I love talking to myself. I haven't tried sexually harassing myself so far, so this was a first. <laughs> So they say, and that's something I bet everyone has heard one time or another, that men with big hands have big members, penises, ding-dongs, as I so lovingly put it in my last video. Still cringing from that one. But how much of that is true? Does it mean that a person who has a larger hand in square centimeters has the longer penis? Or does it have to do with the length of the fingers? Or is a fat hand also an indicator for something? Is it true at all? So while this generally accepted and distributed common knowledge is not entirely false, it is also not as right as you might think. Because it's about the 2D, 4D ratio. Let me break this down. <laughs> so we anthropologists have labeled our fingers. Firstly, they're digits, not fingers. And they have numbers. One, two, 2, 3, 4, and 5D. And the ones we should be looking at are the 2D, 4D ratio, so the comparison of the length of these two fingers here. If the ring finger is longer than the index finger, it is considered a low 2D to 4D ratio, which is actually a good indicator of genetic factors like prenatal exposure to testosterone and other androgens in the womb, which in turn has also been linked to a bigger penis size. But please don't make the mistake of looking at them just like that though, because as you can see here, I can change the perceived compared length by just moving my hands like that. You need to actually consider the length of the finger from its base on the inside of your hand. So that's at least how anthropologists are doing it to stay consistent. By now there have been tons of studies supporting that. You can as always read some of them by checking the description box below. So next time you are trying to determine whether someone has a rather bigger penis or not, don't look at the entire hand, but rather at those two fingers in relation to each other. Now you might have also heard that the no size can correlate with penis size. There was this study approximately two years ago where they um, measured various body components of 126 men's corpses up to three days after their death. And they actually came to the result that men with larger noses had a stretched penile length of at least 13 and a half centimeters, while those with smaller noses had a length of up to 10 centimeters. And if you're anything like me, you might wonder how they could measure the penises of dead men. Yeah, um, we shouldn't have wondered about that because we didn't want to know, but I know now, so I'm gonna tell you. So the stretched penile length was measured by lying the cadavers on their backs and pulling at the penis as far as it would go. So this specific study only did that to Japanese cadavers, but in the meantime, this year, another study was published which basically did the same thing to 1,160 alive patients of a urology clinic in Korea. And they found the same thing, that no size actually says something about the size of the appendage. But what is a small nose and what's a big one? The category the first study made defined small noses as the ones that were shorter than four and a half centimeters and the big ones, the ones with more than five and a half centimeters. And now you're like, wait a minute, you told us in your very first video that all of you have obviously watched that nose size changes with age and that noses keep growing forever so how does that work does it mean that the penises grow forever as well uh, no quite the opposite but it has to do with how you measure the nose nose size was defined as the longer distance between the midpoint between the eyes and the outside of the nose wings you don't take the nose measurement down the middle where the cartilage is doing the most of the growing. So you're gonna take this measurement rather than this one here. So yeah, finger ratios and nose sizes actually say something about penis sizes apparently, <laughs> in case you have one. We should make our own study. You could, for example, leave a comment with your nose measurement below or press the like button with your super long ring fingers or you could subscribe if you have more than five and a half centimeters nose length and <laughs> we'll all know. Or you could just subscribe because you love geeking out about this stuff just like me and want to join me on the next video. <laughs>